What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Mitten Dad. Hey, a few minutes late here. Sorry about that. Just getting the old chat up here. Dad. Hey, a few minutes late here. Sorry about that. How's everyone doing this evening? Back to live chat. So how's everyone doing? So hey, I figured I'd do two nights in a row. What do you think about that? Pretty cool stuff. Just getting everything situated here. Too many windows open, my friends. Got a photo booth open. There we go, Google Hangout. So how's everyone doing tonight? Sorry, I was a little bit uh, late running behind. <clears throat> What's up, Brian Hammers? Hey, man, check this out. I got the Barletta Boats. Check that out. What's going on, my friend? Just figured I'd go. I went live last night for a while. Figured I'd go live tonight. Got the studio hooked up, the 3D wall panels. Happy St. Patty's Day. The old microphone over here. Can you hear me okay? Living the dream today, buddy. I was out doing, uh, bought some more cameras for the house. I was out doing the cameras for the house, hooking those up. And then uh, just all kinds of stuff, doing some videos. Got the microphone here. Tell them you want a black and red jacket. <laughs> hey, Graham McIntosh, how's it going, buddy? Hey, thanks for stopping by. Be sure to hit the like button on this or thumbs up. And uh, if you got Twitter, tweet this baby out. Had a real late live stream last night. I didn't go live till about 11 o'clock. Had a, quite a few people jump in. Pusa Studios and uh, who else? Uh, Gill Skills and several others came came over. So pretty cool. Hey, Tim, what's up, bud? Thanks for uh, joining. Hey, appreciate your uh, feedback on the channel. The lava lamp is sweet. It's a Walmart special, but that baby that, that baby works. Grant, doing good, man. I just uh, got my got my haircut today, so looking a little bald. But uh, I figured I better get rid of some of the gray hairs. Techn working in technology and security does that to you. <clears throat> but other than that, just uh, was out in the farm today. Did some uh, firewood videos and some other stuff. So the wall is, uh, so Tim, I took that idea from, uh, I didn't take it from him, but Nick Nimmin bought some of these uh, self-sticky things and put them on his wall. And I was talking to him about where he got them and he got them at his local department store. So I find, found them over on uh, Amazon. I think they're like 80 or, no, I think they're $100 for 12 panels. But they're, you just buy double side tape, stick them up there, and I got the red lights, the red stripper lights, kind of, <laughs> not really. I got those shining up on here. So uh, just to get a different look, you know, instead of just the drywall. Trying to change it up a little bit. Bought two boxes. I think I have, I don't know, probably 12 panels left. Five minute sneaker TV is in the house. Did you change your logo? Five minute sneaker? Something looks different. 
But hey, thanks for stopping by, buddy. Tim, I'm looking forward to you getting the channel going, my friend. Can't wait to see some of the your, your tech reviews when you get those hopping. But yeah, last night, man, it was it was lit. Last night in here, there was quite a few people. I don't know, I don't know what the max was, but who's the studio sent a bunch of people over here and it was really, really cool. So I'm gonna go into the YouTube here so I can see kind of who's in here. We got five in the house watching. Someone said stripper. Heck yeah, buddy. The red lights, you know, the, the truckers supposedly uh, have the, the lights going in the truck. But yeah, I can't wait for the channel, Tim. And Brian Hammers, you should do a YouTube channel as well. I like the logo, 5-Minute Sneaker. It's pretty cool. So <clears throat> this is the highest quality live streaming resolution I have seen. Man. That's just because I'm a good-looking dude. You know that. You know what I mean? But uh, so for all anyone that hasn't really followed me lately, I've been looking at doing a, uh, a channel channel change, changing my channel. But, uh, you know, I was doing some Kiki Challenge. I was doing the, you know, the – Shit, the Momo, Momo thing or whatever. Anyway, I've been really liking the outdoor outdoor videos. And I can still drop deuces behind trees. So I love it. But uh, I can't figure out a name. <clears throat> so I've been really stuck on uh, Gull Creek Outdoors or Wooded Acres Outdoors. I primarily do tractor stuff, UTV stuff. In the summer, I'll probably do a little bit of boating which obviously is not on my property, but I'm always out cutting wood and hunting and just trying to think of a name that's more like you hear the name and you're like, yeah, I have an idea what that is versus the mint and dad. Like people think it's freaking gloves. It's kind of stupid. I mean, it's my own stupidity for having that name, but so I want to do that up a little bit. Also been looking at uh, Tim, maybe you have some feedback on this, but looking at uh, getting a drone. I've had a DJI Inspire way back in the day in a Phantom, and I sold the Inspire after about a year, and uh, I'm going to look at getting another another one, so I've been looking at the Mavic Air and the DJI Spark, so curious if anyone has tried those, but uh, looking for something that's versatile, I'm sure I'll hit a tree or a limb or two, but uh, also fairly good quality. So, love everyone's feedback on what channel name you like. Um, had some other ones too. People are saying the Mitten Outdoors, which I don't. I want to get rid of the dad and the Mitten piece. Outdoor Acres. So there's there's so many names out there. Then I recently was told that Gull Creek Outdoors or Wooded Acres Outdoor doesn't really tell anyone what the channel's about, which is seems crazy because I mean. A lot of other people have just, you know, read outdoors or last name outdoors, right? And people know what it is. So I think that's a little, a little, being, a little anal. I just said anal. Man. Outback, Michigan. Yeah, I seen, I think you wrote that, uh, Tim, it might have been you that wrote that on my community page. And uh, I looked at that. I, I liked it. I like the way it sounds. I just don't know if it flows real well. I've been hesitant to stick to Michigan for some reason, too. I don't know. Man, I can't believe how bald I am. I look like Brian Hammers. Man. <clears throat> Branding is important. So, so what do you think... Uh, from a branding perspective, do you think like t-shirts and hats and thongs, stuff like that? Do you think uh, Gull Creek Outdoors would be more brandable than uh, the other one? 
Uh, see, Brian, you said something here. Dalla Dalla Bell, y'all. <laughs> so, yeah, voting season's coming, man. I can't wait. I got my boat. It's still, I think, at the dealership in storage, or they did a bunch of warranty work to it. Gull Creek Thong. Hell to the yeah. Gull Creek Thong or Wooded Acres Thong. Gull Creek Thong probably sounds better. Man, I do. I, I got I need to get a tan. Got this light on me, man. I'm freaking white as a ghost. See so yeah, if you haven't hit the the up up button, which is the thumbs up or the thumbs down, hit one of those and uh, tweet this out, share it. Man, I, I, my head is so freaking bald. There, I got the, the sport and the camel, the camel look. Just put my new disco ball mount on the pontoon. <laughs> Tim, Tim's got the right idea. Yeah, Brian, one of the things uh, I was going to tell you, there's a, you guys probably have them down in Indiana too, but Gull, Gull Creek, Jesus. Um, Guitar World, I think it's Guitar World, Guitar Center. They got some sweet disco balls that are just massive. And when I seen them in there, I thought of you. It's probably twice the size of the one that you already have. And uh, I was like, man, that, Brian would probably want that. So Brian Hammers and Five Minute Sneaker. What ones? What channel names do you like? Do you like the uh, the Wooded or Wooded Acres Outdoors or Gull Creek Outdoors? <laughs> Boats and hoes. <laughs> Man, my my arms are even like white. Dang. <laughs> to be honest, neither of the two. Five minute sne sneaker. What one? What what do you like? And please don't say the mint and dad. Disco balls. You are taking back a few years now. Yeah, Brian's got all the classic gadgets on his boat. Bringing all the ladies in. I agree. Five minute sneaker. My my challenge is. Uh, Boats and does. Like the challenge is generally like outdoor stuff. How do you, I mean, tractors, UTVs, like how do you, I'm not sure I can fulfill that need of just tell me what the content's about. Like I do firewood, but I would not want my channel to be firewood all the time. So curious on, uh, your thoughts. Don't tell Jess. She might be on here, actually. She was in the shower earlier. Don't look like she's on. Yeah, I don't see her. Everything outdoors. Oh, you meant your Jess. Well, come on, five minutes. You got to get some ideas going, my friend. I always do like outdoor with the reeds, but that's kind of boring. Then it's like almost copying like Morgan, outdoor with the Morgans.
We got 10 in the house. 10 people in the house. Let's see who's in. Don't be shy. Hit the thumbs up. Tweet this baby out. Heritage Farms, Texas. Yeah, Heritage Farm, Texas. Hey, thanks for stopping by. Hack the fat. What is up? So I, I got my I got my haircut today, and as you see, it's fairly uh, bald, and I'm whiter than white. So I wanted to uh, put the camel hat back on, which I did wear this out today, uh, out in the woods to do some videos for all of you. So woods, woods and water outdoors with the mitten dad. Man, I just the mitten dad. I'm not, I'm not digging it. What is up, Tony? Reviews Upper Peninsula Outdoor Adventures. I'm not sure what part you live in. So, Tony, we live down in the southern part of Michigan, down by like Kalamazoo Battle, Kalamazoo Battle Creek area. It's like when you take your hand. You know, some people call us Rosie Palmer, but because she don't talk back. But you, all, it's like right in here is where we're at in Michigan, right somewhere in here. So that is where we're at. I kind of and so the Gull Creek outdoors. So let me give you a little bit of a scoop on that. Is we almost we have a creek that comes up out of the ground on our 22 acre farm. And it literally comes up out of the ground, starts on our, our property, then flows down into like the, one of the big rivers. And I think ends up feeding into Lake Michigan. But the name of the, the creek is Gull Creek. So that's why I thought of Gull Creek. And then Wooded Acres, the Mint Momsy, my, my, my wife, my wife thought of that name just because I'm out cutting wood and building motocross track for the boys and all that stuff. So she thought of that one. So those are the two we've kind of narrowed down. Hack the fat says, be right back. Everyone check out uh, Tony Reviews, man. Awesome. Awesome channel. And man, he is growing like a weed. I think, he's, I think you've doubled your subscribers, if I remember correctly, man. You're just like cruising and just nailing it. Heritage Farms, Texas. What's the weather in Texas like today? Right now, it's, it was 40 today. 40 and it snowed. <laughs> I think this week it's supposed to hit 50 maybe. So, about time to get the boat in the water. So, we got 11 in the house and we got 9 thumbs up. So, we need 2 more. Now, we got 10 watching. Man, people coming and going. Gear Vlogs, what is up, buddy? Hey, thanks for stopping by. I was going to uh, jump on your live stream the uh, the other night, and uh, I think Modern Day <laughs> rolled me like at 2 in the morning. I was out. Um, but, yeah, so... Thanks for stopping by, and we need to do a private hangout. So if anyone, if any of you, the YouTubers or non-YouTubers want to get together and do a private hangout where it's not like on YouTube, um, add me in Google Hangouts, and there's a bunch of us that get on there and talk about tips and tricks and kind of the struggles and successes with uh, YouTube. So we try to do those frequently, but we haven't done them lately. So Brian Hammer says he's ready for the boat. So if anyone wants to buy a boat, Brian Hammer has a sweet boat for sale. Tony Review, Gold Creek Outdoors is a great channel name. Hey, man, thanks, Tony. Uh, so actually the thumbnail, if anyone looked at the thumbnail for this uh, live stream, the thumbnail actually is a picture of our creek where it kind of comes down. There's like a little waterfall. And uh, it's a pretty cool video. I did have a video. I don't know if I put it on my community page. Maybe I'll throw it up there tonight. But we got a ton of rain this week, and it really freaking flooded. Like it didn't flood, but I mean, it was it was like going so so fast across there. The the next day, I woke up and I had a great idea to do like a review of uh, 
like a stand up paddleboard going over the little dam, but, <laughs> but the stream slowed down. So I figured I'd probably better not do that. So I'd get hurt. Thanks for the plug. Absolutely, Brian. And that is not a butt plug. It is a plug for you and selling that boat. So yeah, you know, I'm liking Gull Creek Outdoors a little more. Um, I am liking that. I think it'd be good too for marketing. Do uh, some marketing on it, get some thongs that say Gull Creek Outdoors. Eric was here. <laughs> Have the Mint Momsy model on. Just kidding. I'll just have hoes. <laughs> so there are a lot of big uh, boating, like when we're on the, on the lake in the summer, and Brian goes on the lake quite a bit too. There's some big boating, bo uh, boating parties, and we could do some promo gear. How about open air? Open... Are you talking like open air because I, I fart a lot, Tim? <laughs> Dropping deuces behind trees? Hey, what is up, Mason? Thanks for stopping by. I think I've seen your name before. Everyone check out Alan Osborne's dropping in here. Oh, Mason. Awesome. So Mason has drones. I am so glad you're here. So I am looking at picking up the DJI Spark or the DJI Mavic Air. And I was sold on the Spark, and then I got there, and they're like, well, you should do the Air. And I'm going to do a lot of stuff outdoors. If you look at my last five or ten videos, I do a lot of outdoor stuff. So I'll probably fly through the woods a little bit, you know, be somewhat cautious. But I can't figure out what one to freaking buy. I can't, I haven't found anyone that likes, like has tried both of them. It's, it's just like, uh, people are like, well, I like the Spark or well, I like this. And there's no like, I wish somebody flew both of them so I knew what was better. All right, so everyone is asking about the panels in the back. So let me grab the link here. I'll send you a link to the – I'll put a link in the chat. And it is a, it will be an affiliate link, so if anyone does purchase the panels, I'll get like $1.50 back. But it doesn't cost you anything but full disclosure. So they do have the white diamond – and I think gray color looks like black, which I got black. They're sold out of. I paid a hundred dollars for these. So there's a link to the, the panels. Where did you get that? Yeah. Gear vlog. So I, I purchased the, uh, there are 3d panels that I purchased off Amazon. And I, I actually found them through uh, Nick Nimmin. He did some uh, video on kind of redoing a studio. So I started looking for him after he showed his. But uh, then I got the the red light. This I, the red, you know, red's naturally my color for the channel. So I got the red light shining on there. And uh, but I think about getting one of the Phillips Hue lighting and put like across the bottom right here so it glows different colors. But I'm going to see how much I'm going to do live streaming. I've just kind of gotten back into it a little bit. So uh, we'll see We'll see how it goes. Uh, so Brian says he flew one drone and crashed one drone a lot. <laughs> yeah, they're definitely easy to do. Daniel Woodle's back. Awesome. Man, check his channel out. He does outdoor stuff. And, man, this guy, he can operate a tractor like a madman. He's got a Kubota. He, I mean, I'm so jealous of you, Daniel. You got the you got the backhoe, and I I need a backhoe. All right, I got excited. Daniel's in here. So Mason says he has a Spark, and it's pretty cool. But he's getting the Mavic Air and a Mavic Zoom. 
damn, dude, you're getting a lot of those things. But I, so between the spark and the air, what, what do you, what do you, uh, what do you recommend? Yeah, I saw Nick do the same thing. That's where I got the idea for my, for my, I wanted to try to play around. Yeah, gear vlogs are, they're really easy to install. They're, um, like 19, I think they're 19 inches by 19 inches. They are not the self stick. So the ones that Nick purchased are self stick, but I just bought like a $5, <coughs> excuse me, I just bought a $5 thing of a uh, double sided tape, the thick stuff, and it worked really well. And aside from cutting them out by electrical outlets in a couple spots, I mean, you can have it done in probably a half hour, 45 minutes, but you can't beat it for the cost. I mean, if you go paint, you want to paint your wall a different color, then you got to freaking buy paint and all that other shit. So this would just made more sense just to pick these up. They're also paintable. So obviously these are black, but you can also paint these. So if you wanted to paint them red or whatever color, a lot of people buy the white or the silver, then they'll paint those a different color. But really sharp. They're very solid. They don't bend. They're not marked up. Um, I did when I cut them a little bit. I had to take, um, I don't got them in here, but... Some kind of like wire snips I had taken cut them because you put it through your saw, it's gonna bust the hell out of them. But yeah, Tony, real, real uh, good. They're a decent price. And man, if you if you want the white color or you want the the silver, I mean $69 is a steal. Cause really, I mean, I could have I could have probably just got away with one package, but like down down here, you can't see it now. But I didn't have a bottom row down there of you know, it's like a half a row. So I, I just, I bought two in case and I used like two or three of them in the, the second box. Phantom 4 is a great drone, just hard to use when you're trying to fly or film yourself. So I've never had the Phantom 4. I, I did the, way back in the day, I had the Phantom that was, had like the real flimsy gimbal that had the GoPro. And it seemed to work pretty well, um, but it wobbled like hell. And then I sold that and got the Inspire, which was way overkill. And then I got rid of this Inspire. Now I just, man, I, I don't know. I just, I'm really looking at the, the spark and the air. I just, I, I love in my videos, I love doing, I'm a tech guy by heart and cybersecurity and all that. And I, I love cameras. I love video. And uh, I just love the different cuts. So I thought the drone would give me some new perspectives and really take it up a notch. Looks like futuristic soundproofing in a studio. It does, you know, it looks, it looks really cool. And I, the sound, I think, hopefully it's not too loud tonight, but I do got the, for the microphone, the Mint Momsy bought me the, God dang it, I don't know what it's called. I'm drawing a blank. It's one of them at Best Buy, but really nice. I think it's, I think it was $100. But a lot of them use them for the ASMR. It's like the, the, the ASMR is the one that, um, you know, where people like whisper and I, I tried doing a channel like that for a while, but it just got a little weird. Um, really hard to get people to follow because it, it's so, the channel is so saturated that market, but ASMR, but good microphone. I got it turned up about halfway, but pretty solid. Yeah. I met Momsy's on here now. So she's always telling me like, that I'm wrong and stuff, but it's the Yeti mic. So the air is heavier, but the air has more bells and whistles, but the spark is pretty cheap, but I nine drones. Jeez, old Pete's. Mason is the man when it comes to drones. So is the air better than the spark then? I know a spark's cheap, but... I'll be flying through the woods a little bit over top of the woods, maybe over water. Truffle Shuffle, hey, thanks for stopping by. Man, now with this hat on, my head looks like it's like an like a bobblehead. Man. So Truffle Shuffle, Gull Creek Acres sounds sweet. Love the outdoor vids, man. How about a badass garden for the summer, fall? And I was following you through the harvest. That is a great idea. And actually. <clears throat> the mint momsy so a couple things on that everyone so the mint momsy she loves gardening but we we didn't really like do it a whole lot last year 
but we also with the the acreage we have we have some food plots for the deer so i'll get the rototiller and uh go, go out and plant some food plots and then uh the mint moms he talked about wanting to do a, a pretty nice garden this year so we'll see view this back in the house hey thanks for stopping by again so awesome to see you everyone check you know network with each other daniel woodell's in here tony reviews we got the big ballers in here tonight gear vlogs um the mint momsy so she's the better half so she's the other part of gull creek or wooded acres she keeps me in check <clears throat> Mason, I just looked at that. I think that's the one that uh, that you it was like an open field, right? I just seen that on there. <clears throat> Gear vlogs. You know, I don't know anybody that has them. I am pretty good. I do get along pretty well with the local video store up uptown. The problem is that I talked to them this weekend. Is they cannot. They cannot let you borrow or or test fly these or open them up because apparently dji is very finicky like if you open a drone from dji and you just open it and then you want to return it dji just will not take them back and so no matter if it's the local camera store or if it's best like best buy you got to pay a 15 percent restocking fee so if i did know somebody that was close i'd like to try it but i just man i can't find anyone Awesome view this. Yeah, definitely. Uh, the plague's been going around, man. I had still got a little bit of a sore throat, but man, last week it was, it was just really bad. It's trying to get better. So Mason, I have an RC boat. So Brian says Mason, he's got an RC boat. There you go, Mason. If you want to buy 3,500 acres. Holy shnikes. I got to get my cord for my laptop because it's, it's dying. But do not leave. I'll be right back. I just got to go right around the corner here. Mitten, you metal detect. That's a good point. I'll check that out. Move the camera or something. So, uh, viewed this. You know what? That's probably correct because this this property used to be um, a stagecoach. So there's a stagecoach between halfway between Chicago and Detroit, and that's what this home used to be. And I had like it's weird, like it's a big farmhouse. I had like. I guess 12 bedrooms at one point in here. Just really crazy. And then uh, I think it was actually used to be the local post office as well back in the day. So um, the men Momsy found some stuff downstairs because the previous owners just, you know, there's so much stuff here. They were here for like 30 years. But I uh, found like blueprints of the original house and uh, all kinds of stuff. So, I mean, it was really, really cool. But I'm sure there's all kinds of stuff around here. There's a couple of dams in the back, uh, the, the creek, the stream. Um, seems like the men, Momsy, she's in the chat, I think. But she found some other stuff that was crazy, I think, downstairs. And we're always finding stuff. Like the, <clears throat> the, the one upstairs, like the bedroom upstairs. Not bedroom, but like the storage area. Actually, has like a the loft where it has a separate staircase that goes down into the kitchen. So I guess that's where everyone used to kind of, uh, you know, when they had the 12 rooms, like everyone that cooked and stuff, I think it was up there. <clears throat> so we have a new request here. So we have Champ Works Garage is back in the house. Hey, thanks for swinging by. So he's saying Gull Creek Outdoors. We got another vote for Gull Creek Acres. I didn't think of that. 
look up in West Virginia. Hey, so good to see you. So look up in West West Virginia. She has been a fan of the Mitten Dad back when I had like 100 subscribers. She is awesome. She follows me on Facebook. She actually, at one point, she, uh, she bought one of the heaters, I believe, that we reviewed way back in the day. And she took a picture of like her TV and she had my big old melon on her TV. It's awesome. So Mint Momsy's gardening videos, they bought a starter drone, waiting on nice weather to try it out if we do well. So what was a starter drone that you bought? I'm curious on that. Mint Momsy says she thinks it's uh, in the maids area. Yeah, we think it was a maids area back then. Gull Creek. Man, everyone likes Gull Creek now. That's awesome. So everyone's seen the creek, right? I mean, it's in like a million of the, probably, excuse me, a million of my videos. Actually, today I was going to go out and do a live stream at the creek and take my table out there and <clears throat> just do like a live stream. But, man, it started getting really windy and it was snowing for the longest time, so I, I just didn't do it. But I'm going to do that sometime. I think you guys will love it. Just the, the sound of that waterfall gushing down would be freaking awesome. Yeah, the Mint Momsy, I tell you what, check out her channel. She, she does speed cleaning. She cleans the house a lot, and man, she is so good at cleaning. But if you Google speed cleaning, just be careful, because sometimes there's some people in skimpy outfits, which isn't a bad thing, I guess. I like Gull Creek Acres. That's, a, you know what, man, that's, that's brilliance. I love it. Not the speed cleaning that you think. <laughs> but yeah, everyone check out Mint Momsy. She has like 50 videos. She is such a hottie. <clears throat> She's probably going to mad at me for saying that. Check out Tony Reviews. Everyone in here, man, make sure you're networking, chatting. And let, you know, let me know what videos you'd like to see. So I will tell you. <laughs> Brian, you got to you got to go to uh, YouTube and Google speed cleaning, and there's a couple of them that that uh, show up at the very top that <laughs> that are uh, they're in like thongs or cheekies or something. So my next project, Daniel. So today, I man, I spent like four hours today out in the woods, but I I went out today and. <clears throat> we had a windstorm that came through, um, shoot, it must have been a month ago or about 60 mile an hour winds and ice storm and, and all that stuff. So we got a ton of trees that just fell over. So I went out today, Daniel, and, and uh, took the grapple out uh, with a Kubota and picked up some big tree and, and cut it and did some, you know, video and I did all kinds of different angles, some new angles that you guys have probably never even seen on YouTube, to be honest. But I did some really sweet angles and then I uh, came back in and uh, we ate, ate some lunch. And then I went back out with the boys because we have a way back in the woods. We've had this widow maker, which are those, you know, trees that are bent over. <clears throat> I just said bent over. But uh, the trees that are bent, man, I said it again. Anyway, it's like a dead tree, but it was super big. And it was kind of like hung up on a bunch of the other bigger trees. And I was like, man, that that thing is going to freaking fall on somebody because it's so massive. I mean, you you don't stand a chance. So I wanted to take that one down. But uh, the windstorm blew it down and blew the root and everything, the root ball right over. So I went out today and we, we uh, cut that. What I did is I took that, instead of cutting all the wood way back in the back of the property, what I did is I cut it in three big sections and I want to really test the Kubota to see how much I could really haul with it. <laughs> and so I took two big pieces that I uh, basically stretched way out past the grapple and I set those aside and then I got a chain and then pulled like a, must've been a, another 15 foot section of the tree. So I got the grapple and then I got the, the tree behind it pulling and pulled it all the way up front and it freaking worked. But anyway, that's my second video this week. I'm going to drop. And I tell you what, I cannot believe the power of that Kubota. It almost tipped over on me once, 
after the Mint, Mint Momsy came out looking for me on the UTV because we were out there forever. But when I pulled back up and I dropped the first two, then I undid the chain, then I hooked up the other one, and it got a little tipsy on me. But uh, brought all those big, big uh, wood pieces back here behind the barn so I can cut them a little closer than going way back in there. But there's so many trees back here that have been the ash trees that are dead. Um, I, mean, I could cut wood forever. So, so I'm going to go back and uh, probably do some more later this week. I usually usually work remote on Wednesday. So I got a little, little more time for with daylight. So I may go out Wednesday afternoon and do some more. But uh, we also, Daniel, I got deer season, not deer season coming up, but planting season, as you know, is coming. So I'm looking at doing some more food plots, trying to expand those a little bit. So I got to get the rent a rototiller. Um, and then uh, we're always doing something. The, the creek we have, the Gull Creek that runs through the property, there's so many trees that have fallen down across there. And I'd really like to go clean that up. I cleaned a lot of it last year. I need to get back there and clean some more. Yeah, the UTVs are nice. We got that. Uh, we've had the Terex. We had a Kawasaki Terex, and then we had that was really cool, but it was really it was really loud. It got really hot in the cockpit. <clears throat> Act like it's a plane. And then uh, the other one was we owned a Razor, a four seat Razor, for about three weeks, <laughs> and then we quickly bought this farmhouse and figured we couldn't do ninety through the woods on a Razor, so we got the Can-Am Defender. Definitely like the Canem Defender the best. Um, I do wish I would have got the four seater, um, but it probably would have been too big anyway for the woods, just turning and stuff. But they're nice. If I had to do it all over again, you know, honestly, depending on how much property you have and how much you're going to go fast, you could probably get by with a with a Gator. But yeah, Danny, you're 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 man, your <laughs> your wife would love the UTV. I mean. The Mint Momsy, you know, she drives our Can-Am Defender everywhere to get wood and everything else. So it's uh, it's awesome. Viewed this. Hey, thanks so much. I totally understand, man. I, I run into those same challenges. Stop back by or, uh, you know, we'll, we'll talk to you here soon. Yeah, Tony, his... his uh, Daniel's electrical install video is phenomenal, man. I mean, I, I've never, I, I honestly have never seen a trench like so perfect and straight. It was just, I want a backhoe, but I, I know I don't, I know I don't need it. Um, the other, uh, so, so Daniel, I've seen that you use the chainsaw, the, the sharpener, man, that thing has saved me so much time. Really, really cool um chainsaw sharpener and it's relatively in inexpensive the other thing that I, I did the video on i'm sure a lot of you watched it is that saw haul thing that thing is pretty sweet so kenny over at saw haul it's 125 bucks one of the things i struggle with is where to put the the chainsaw on the tractor and i put it on the grapple or in the bucket but then sometimes i forget i'm afraid it's going to fall out but man i loved it today going out cutting wood in that saw haul you just slide that thing right in there it's awesome. <clears throat> Gear vlogs. I seen your you had messaged up a. I'm not sure on the sawmill. I'll have to check more into that. Um, I don't know a whole lot about it, honestly. I'm kind of new and getting more accustomed to kind of the the wood. And I mean, I've always been a hunter, but the property cleanup and all that, I've kind of getting used to it. So I'll check into it though, because we do cut a lot of wood. Um. Trespassers, you know, we, we've had one, one, uh, hey, you too, Daniel. Thanks so much for stopping by, buddy. And hey, we need to get together and uh, do a collab. You got a Kubota, I got a Kubota. We could uh, talk and you're cutting trees, I'm cutting trees. Let's, let's, if you're interested, let's uh, connect and throw something together. Um, so trespassers, we've, we've only had, we've had a couple issues this year. Once when I was out hunting. See you, Brian. <laughs> Booty time. Uh, we did have some trespassers, uh, some some kids, a group of four or five kids that kind of came through the woods during hunt season. 
and they came out like two or three times in a row. And finally, last night, I, I stopped and, and, and yelled at them and asked them what they were doing. And they left and never seen them again. It must have been a month ago. I woke up on a Saturday and I got the, I got the, actually, I got it right here, but I got these cameras here. So if anyone's a hunter, these are the, uh, or if you want to get trespassers, these are the Blackhawk LTE through Verizon. So they run about $400, which I know is expensive, but it actually texts you a photo right to your cell phone. And so I woke up and well, I mean, it's already up, but like 10 30, 11 o'clock, I got a text. And I seen, seen these kids walking by, you can see like their face. Well, the, the way the camera works is you, you walk by it once it takes a picture. That's I get the first one. Then any subsequent pictures it takes, like I got set to three or four, it stores them on the card. So I got the pictures of like just part of their face. And then I went back out, retrieved the rest of the pictures from the camera. And I got some pretty good photos of them. I posted a video on it. And man, it wasn't within like five, six hours or maybe 10 hours. The, I didn't know who it was. And what the parent of the son, one of the kids, sent me an email on my Facebook page and several other methods of communication and was, was a little upset that I uh, posted the video, but I told her I, I didn't know who or who these kids were. So that's really the only time that I know of really. It's kind of a secluded, I don't want to say it's secluded, but there's not too many people with a lot of property around us besides one big farm. And we talked to them quite a bit. They're pretty good guys. And so I really don't see a lot. And these kids, what they were doing is just like the way our roads are, there's, they're basically taking a shortcut through our woods to get to their friend's house. So it's a long story, but uh, not too many issues so far. We have cameras everywhere too. I mean, we got these cameras out there and we got cameras on the barns, cameras on the house. So we're, we're pretty, pretty in tune to, who's coming by last year we went on spring break and somebody called the inspector and he showed up and I got a video on that on my page. It's way back. But if anyone wants to get a kick out of it, you'll see the inspector walking through kind of our front or, or back area of the house by the barn. He's like looking around, he's got a clipboard in his hand. And then when he walked up by the porch, I was literally driving down in Tennessee and I hit the button where he could talk to him. And I said, Hey, what are you doing? And uh, I thought he was going to fall over. But he ended up calling me and he, you know, somebody turned us in or called because we were doing construction. But uh, he was very nice, but I think it caught him off guard. So cameras are awesome for your house, especially when you're not home. So those are the projects that I have coming up here this week. Um, what do you guys want to see more of? Truffle Shuffle, Gull Creek Acres just sums up. It sure does. And we got, so if you check out the Mint and Momsies channel, she does a lot of cleaning and obviously that's of inside the house. So you'll see the, you can see like the inside of the house. It's a real rustic farmhouse. I think it was built in the 1850s, maybe 1800s, somewhere around there. Leonard, hey, what is up, man? I haven't seen you in forever. Dude, your channel is like blowing up. Great to see you, man. Just figure I'd jump on here and go live tonight. Went live yesterday and tonight. Hey, thanks. Pick these babies up from uh, Amazon. <clears throat> Am's Great Outdoors Adventures. Hey, what is up? I still do not have my boxers. Pam was going to send me some boxers for Christmas, and I have not seen them. Lava lamps are back. Yeah, you know what? That's one of the first things that Met Momsy bought me. Because I was like, I need some kind of cool lights or something. So she picked that up at, I think, Walmart. Works pretty well. I got the red lights going on the, the back of the 3D wall here. Pretty cool stuff. So Pam, great door, great outdoors adventures. So thanks again for swinging by. Hey, we're in the process of changing the channel name here. And so we are going to do outdoor videos. And so we're looking at Gull Creek Outdoors, Gull Creek Acres, and Wooded Acres, I think. <clears throat> hey, no, no problem on the GoPro Black. That, you know, that camera is freaking amazing. 
And I use that. I got the so I had the Osmo. I got rid of the Osmo. Then I got the Osmo again. <laughs> I got problems, I guess. But uh, I got it again. I really like it for the slow B roll. But I really, really love the GoPro, the wide angle. You know, like I did a bunch of videos today, which you guys are going to have to check them out. I'm going to post one on tomorrow night. But I got so many different views and angles of the dangle. You're, it, it was amazing. All with a freaking GoPro. <clears throat> Do you ever cook anything on that wood stove that I've seen in the Mitten Momsy cleaning videos? So we have not cooked anything on there. We just recently, she would probably be better to ask about this because she takes care of that more than I do. But um, we put, she bought some kind of pan or not pan, but some kind of thing on there to make, get it more humid. But that's a good idea. I bet we could. That that baby gets hot. I mean, it pushes four or 500 degrees. So we should try that. I think she puts like potpourri or some kind of stuff in there to make it smell good. Sometimes I just I drop a deuce in the living room and rip a fart and it stinks so bad. She's got to get that potpourri out. I'm just kidding. I mean, sometimes I do, though. So I told Santa to keep over herself maybe next year. Damn it. So, Pam, I even got a P.O. box. So you could have just sent some swag. I could have wore them and modeled them. It been awesome. <laughs> but, yeah, so that's the new news, too. If you look in my channel description... And you go to the about page. We actually, I got a PO box. So I wonder what the kettle was for. Yeah, the kettle was for like when we burn a lot of the wood, it gets really, really dry from time to time in the house. And like we got a moisture meter, and it just like it's so dry, and like you touch something, and you know you shock yourself. So she got that to um, get some more moisture in there. But we have not tried cooking. So, so Leonard and Pam, do you like Gull Creek Outdoors, Gull Creek Acres, Wooded Acres Outdoors? And by the way, the Gull Creek is in my thumbnail picture. <laughs> Gull Creek Adventure Zone. <clears throat> video call and show. What is up? Everybody has to go check out video call and show. This guy is a real deal. <clears throat> so they are Gull Creek, Gull Creek Outdoors, Gull Creek Acres, and Wooded Acres Outdoors. So Video Call and Show is a new upcoming channel. Well, I say new because I just came across him like recently. But uh, he has a show every day of the week, Monday through Friday for, at like 10 o'clock. And you call in. So everyone... Check him out and hump that subscribe button and make sure you stop by his stream every night around 10 o'clock. So he's only he's been doing it for four months. He's been trying to get me on there. I'm gonna probably go on this week. Honestly, like I was sicker than a dog the last couple of weeks, but um starting to get better. My throat's feeling a little better. So I'm gonna jump on there probably this week and uh bust some jokes and might even uh, drop a deuce or two. So Tony and Leonard, as long as you guys know each other. <clears throat> and Tim, yeah, Tim has been on video call and show. Everyone, Tony Reviews, man, his profile picture, I tell you, that thing stands out. Which is another question. What should I do for a profile picture? I got the channel art I got to work on, the profile picture. <clears throat> I got to work on that, too. Sometimes you got to drop a deuce, man. Everyone acts like it's, like, weird. But, man, sometimes you're out in the woods and you just got to go. You got to let that stuff go. Nudity works. Absolutely. <clears throat> Dropping a deuce. So I'll drop a link. <clears throat> Excuse me. Not a deuce, but there's a link for anyone that's interested in the 3D panels. So these are not flat. They are 3D. 
they're pretty solid. I got them on there with tape. If you want to, if you want to check those out, feel free to. I got, I think, gray and silver, or maybe white and silver in stock on sale for like sixty, sixty dollars, sixty nine dollars, sixty nine. What a great number. <clears throat> Deuce Creek Acres. <laughs> that's that's awesome. Me on the tractor for my profile pic. I don't know if I have one of me on the tractor. You probably have one of me on the tractor. Be outside doing stuff. She's always got to throw me in her videos. Leonard Shea. Yes. Yeah, so the Mint Momsy, she is my wife. So she is in the other room chatting to all of you. So you'll see a lot of cleaning videos and mom vlogs. And you'll see our farmhouse, which is pretty massive and a lot of stuff to clean. <laughs> Huffy, damn, I'm getting old. Gull Creek Outdoors Adventures. So what what uh, what videos do you guys want to see more of? And please don't say that you want to see more <laughs> tech reviews. <laughs> Actually, I got a I got a microphone and and Tim, if if you're doing a lot of uh, <laughs> we have to take one, take a deuce. Oh, a picture. Um. So Tim, I if you're getting into the tech reviews, I do have <clears throat> I do have a lot of not a lot, but I got quite a few contacts, and I got one contact in particular that likes to send microphones and wants uh, microphones to be reviewed all the time. They actually just sent me like a a full system where it's like four microphones, two that are lapels, two that are like the headsets. They're wireless and it comes with a controller. You can do the echo, but they sent that to me and I told them I didn't want to review it, meaning I didn't want to post another tech video. But my point is, is I can hook you up with uh, with some of those contacts if you want to review some microphones. And same with Tony, I know you do reviews, but if you want to get into some of the tech microphone stuff, let me know, I'll get you in contact because I do I'm microphoned out. So Tim, I got your email. I'll send you the uh, the information. So it says, so Leonard, yeah, you know, I, I've got a lot of that feedback that the tech has helped. I think I'll still, and, and part of this, I want to thank Tim that's in the chat. So everyone, everyone go down and follow Tim. He's getting ready to kick off a tech channel. Um, but Tim's been very instrumental in, in chatting in D Nimmin and Nick Nimmin's live streams. And him and I have talked quite a bit. He's really helped kind of give me insight on where to focus, focus kind of the, the channel. And so I, I think I'll still do some camera stuff periodically because I, I think from what I'm hearing from a lot of you, a lot of you and a lot of other people on the channel is, they like the editing. They like all the different angles. And so I'll probably periodically do uh, some reviews of the the gear I use outside just to show show any of you that are interested kind of how I'm getting the, the different angles and the good footage. So uh, things like that. So I think I'll still do some of that periodically, B-roll. Obviously, if I get a drone, I won't do like a drone review per se. It'd be more of... You know, this is equipment that I've used, and if I get people that say, you know, hey, how'd you do that B-roll, or hey, how do you do stuff like that? Look, it's you guys are my fans. You follow me, so I'll I'll shoot whatever you want. I just <clears throat> unless I'm like in the shower. <clears throat> Let's see here. Back from dinner, five minute sneakers. Back from dinner. My wife thought I was the funniest person on the planet the first six months we're together. Now now she just tolerated me. That's awesome. Mint Dad is a lucky guy. His wife works hard and puts up with his shenanigans. She does. She puts up with me all the time. 
<clears throat> truffle shuffle so the great garden so the mint momsy is the gardener um I know like corn on, I like I like corn on the cob. <clears throat> no, it's kind of boring. Like I can't stand tomatoes. But uh I like sunflowers. You can't really I just like how they look. We've been together like it's like 20 years. <clears throat> no, we've been together for we've been married this May for 10 years. She's put up with me for 10 years. Hey, ninth degree aerial perspectives, killer background. So, so no, this is actually uh, their <clears throat> their panels that you put on your wall, like nineteen inches by nineteen inches, and there's no adhesive or anything on the back. It's got double sided tape. It was like five bucks. Put them up there, and I wouldn't put anything past you. I should be in mean now, but uh, they're three D panels. So I'll drop a link. So there's the ones that I bought. I did buy black. I think they're out of stock right now for black. They do have uh, silver and white. So you can pick up silver and white. But uh, can't beat the cost. I think the silver and white are on sale for $69. And you get 12. I could have probably got through with 12 here. Because I use, I use, I think, like 15 total. But, I mean, if you think about going to paint your wall. And these, you can take these down, too. You can take them down. You can move them. You know, you're not. Some people put adhesive on them, but double side tape is perfect. You can move them around. Some people even uh, take them and buy a couple of them. They'll do a wall, then they'll like in a different room of their house. They'll put like three of them just to kind of get a different design, but they're really sharp. And you get the light going off them, they, they really reflects pretty well. Tony, you, man, you can copy. <clears throat> you can copy them if you want, man. There's Nick. I, I Nick Nimmin is the one that uh, that I seen him on his, and my wife was trying to scour the internet to uh, to you know check and find out what they were, and we finally found them basically on Amazon, and uh, they're really nice, well worth the cost. But there's back. I've tried backdrops. I tried the green screen. The green screen is cool, but man, it's a pain in the ass trying to get that. Where you got little, like you look like you'll have a little spot, like white spot, and I just oh, I just want to throw the computer across the room. So this is just set it, forget it. You're good. <clears throat> so how wide across is your back wall? <clears throat> so it's uh, probably. I'm trying to count these one, two, three. I think it's probably a hundred and let's see, there's five, it's time 20, probably 120 inches across. So these ones are actually uh, <clears throat> the ones Nick got are one foot, they're 12 inches by 12 inches, but they're self-adhesive so you just peel and stick these ones are not self-adhesive you got to put the double-sided tape or like you said tim use velcro but these are 19 inches by 19 inches <clears throat> so they're they're a lot bigger <clears throat> excuse me leonard <clears throat> thanks for stopping by my friend my my voice is getting the frog in it again thanks for stopping by and we will catch you soon Hey, man, I'm glad you enjoy the humor. At least somebody does. <laughs> hey, take care, buddy. Yes, yeah, so the lighting is monster on a green screen. I use one all the time. <clears throat> yeah, we got the ring light, <clears throat> and I got a softbox. No matter what I do, man, the angle on trying to get the light just right, it's a, it's a pain. <clears throat> so integrate aerial perspectives. So looking at your name... I assume you do some drone footage. So for outdoor videos, like in the woods, above the woods, like over the lake, DJI Spark or DJI Mavic Air. So I was sold on the Spark, was going to get the Spark. Then I got there. 
they were trying to talk me in the air, the Mavic Air. But I was worried because it was more expensive, and I wasn't sure if it was a, as as durable. <clears throat> Thanks, Vito. Call and show. Yeah, check it out. They if you get on Amazon again, I don't mean to blast links out here. That is an affiliate link, so you'll you know it don't cost you anything. But I'll get a dollar or two if you buy something. Not required, but just full disclosure. They got a ton of them on Amazon. These ones are honestly really good quality. I cannot speak to any any other ones. Jim, that's correct. I'm going to call you Jim, and everyone can call me Eric. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, I mean, there's so many different colors. There's so many cool designs. To be honest with you, I probably shouldn't say this, but I got black on this wall. I'd like to do, like, a different pattern on the other wall, like some kind of, like, wavy pattern. So I got some really cool white ones. If you look on the the link I sent in the in the chat, really cool white ones. Got all kinds of like different distortions and like waves. That'd be sweet to have two walls that are kind of offset like that. But I don't really need that, so I'm not gonna do it. <clears throat> so I'd go with a zoom if you can. You know, I, the problem is I used to have an Inspire way back in the days, and it cost so much money. And I liked it, but then I sold it eventually because I, I really took all the shots that I needed at the time. And it was so hard to make money on those because everyone's everyone was going to Walmart buying drones and taking photos. So I just want to get into it now for entertainment, just to do some more footage, some more B-roll, some more cool camera angle shots. And I, I just don't want to spend a ton of money because I don't know how much I'll really use it. So I was really having a hard time even going from the Spark to the... The Mavic Air, but I don't want to buy something and be like, well, shit, why'd I get that? <clears throat> All right, I'm going to check out, pull up the chat here, or the channel, I should say. We got 12 people watching, 18 likes, crushing it. And so awesome having you guys. Our whole room will be all geometric. There's nothing wrong with that. <clears throat> we could even do something on the ceiling. <laughs> but no, this I think this is a perfect setup right here. I tried doing it on an angle too, and it didn't really look good. So I I think this is perfect. I could even change it, put some blue blue colors on there. A mirror in the ceiling. <laughs> Hell yes. <clears throat> Got a GoPro up there. Thanks so much, Tim. Hey, man. Love talking to you. I love your support. And can't wait till you get your channel going. And uh, I'll get you an email out this week, probably tomorrow evening. And I'll, I'll send you the contact info for the, the people that I have and uh, at least get you in contact with them. I'm also getting quite a few things now where people are reaching out again wanting stuff reviewed. And a lot of them are more tech-oriented, so I don't really have much interest. So I'm happy to forward those over to you as well. But uh, thanks again for stopping by, my friend. Man, mom just says, no way. <clears throat> Look at stage wash lights. All right, I'm going to write that down. I do got some other things. I got this thing here, too. This was a cheapie off Amazon. It's a... Uh, Jim, you've probably seen these, and Tim probably has as well, but I don't know what model brand it is. But anyway, it's these LED lights. And then on the back, it's got uh, these DIP switches. You can change the different colors and such. And then... For real sophistication, looks like you can plug stuff in here too. But I got two of these, and one of them you hear it kind of like broken inside. It doesn't. One of the colors doesn't work. <clears throat> Stage wash lights. I'm gonna check those out. Twenty four of those. Nice. You got some awesome colors on yours. 
I love your live stream of look you have even the, the mic I looked at doing a mic like you have but I just don't really have a dedicated desk this is like a the desk I have is like a fold-up desk just to have something let's see here Four point five mile range. <clears throat> yeah, that's a long range. You know, maybe I'm not into it as much as a lot of the other folks, but I don't. I want to be able to see the thing, or I would panic. So I, I don't know if I'd want to go four miles. I know with my Inspire, man, I was always afraid of that thing. Of course, I was always flying over water, right? So you don't <laughs> want that to fall in the drink. I'm gonna check out. I'm gonna check out your channel right now and hit the old red button. Elgato lights. I'll check out the Elgato lights too. One mile was your longest. Yeah, it's man, you get them out there too far. And man, I've been out over Lake Michigan a few times, like from the shoreline, and flew way out. Man, your stomach just starts getting like cringing. Like, where's that thing at? And you feel like you got to poop, and man, it's just nervous. You change color temp on them. I'll have to check those out. Stage Amp makes some good inexpensive lights. I've hated them. Yeah, I'm going to check into those, see what the cost of them are. You know, I don't, to be honest with you, I don't know how much I'll live stream. I'm, I'm, I'm liking it. You know, I did it a little bit in the past with a few different, uh, few different folks, but I haven't done it much lately until the last couple of days. And I do like it. I'd like to, like to get into it some more but with the summer coming and spring coming i'd I'll probably do some live streaming even from our boat because we're on the on the boat a lot so i'll find a place to live stream so i can talk to everybody and keep up all right so we're approaching 10 30 here so i think i'm gonna shut it down for the night like i said i got two videos that i went out today with and man <clears throat> i tell you what I got, I had like five cameras going at once. So you guys can only imagine the editing that I got to do. So I get one of those ready to, to drop tomorrow night. And then the other one will probably drop on Wednesday. So thanks so much for stopping by. And if you haven't already hit that red, red subscribe button, hit the bell and drop by my community page as well. If you want to see some, anything on the Kubota, anything outdoors, or if you want to share some, some uh, feedback on the channel names, I would love, love your feedback. Also, for anyone that's on Twitter, I'm getting more involved in Twitter. So if you look at Dad Mitten, that is my Twitter handle. If I when I do change a name, I'm hoping to use the same kind of not losing my uh, followers. Just change the name, so I'll keep everyone up to date on that. Uh, Gear Vlogs, do you remember where in analytics I can find the best hours to post? Um, what I do is I go through when you go into analytics and you look at the where it's got the 48 hours, it'll show like your your spikes. So you'll see some that are lower. <laughs> I feel like you gotta poop. Um, you'll see like the 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 spikes where you got the blue bars. And when you see the blue bars where it's really peaked, that's where typically you release a video. Um, so what I do is I try to look for right before it peaks for the biggest peak, and then I if you go through and you count back those bars, it's like, I think there's 48 bars. You can get a good idea. The other thing too is, I don't know if, if you, uh, I don't know if you have morning fame still, your vlogs, but on morning fame, you can actually get in there and it'll break it down even by day and tell you in morning fame kind of what time to post. And, and basically it's the time to post would be, um, you can look in your analytics and see where everyone's, where most of your subscribers are from. So if you have a lot of people from the U.S., um, depending on your location, then 
you know, obviously probably when, <laughs> when they get out of work would be best. If you have folks overseas at, in different areas at different time zones, it makes it challenging. But uh, my analytics say between 6 and 8 on some days and between 10 and midnight other days. I've been usually doing it around 9 or 10. I've been getting a lot of my traffic from Reddit as well. So I've been over there hammering out a bunch of uh, posts on Reddit and trying to build up the karma. I think I'm up to 126 now. But, uh, but anyway, everyone have a great night. Good seeing everyone. Thanks so much for jumping in here. And we will talk to you guys soon. Take care.